Greetings and salutations, people of the internet. This is Master RBG. And you know what occurred to me recently? I haven't really done much in the way of video game reviews for sports titles. Seriously, I've only really done it once. That was for uh, Rocket League way back when. Wow, it has been a while. Um, anywho, good news though, we're about to rectify that at least a little bit today. Now, I had to find just the right sport game to review. And it took me a little while to find, but uh, I think I found something. I decided to look to our friendly neighbors to the north and decided, why not try reviewing a hockey video game? How bad could that possibly be, right? I mean, they like it, and they generally have pretty good taste in things. Why not give it a try? So, today, I will be reviewing Super Blood Hockey. I'm sure those adjectives are just to, you know, grab your attention. Probably nothing more. Anywho, let's get right into it. Okay, let's see now. This is, uh, this is a little, uh, different from what I pictured this game starting. Uh, okay, sure. State your name. My default name is Coach, apparently. Well, obviously, you're gonna go with Coach RBG. Uh, actually, can we get a space in there? Is that, is that doable? Let's find out. Okay, Coach RBG, I see you're here to register a team in the International League of Blood Sports. Uh, I'm sorry, what? Which nation will you be representing? Well, I think that one should be obvious. USA! 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 Yep. You can only face opposing teams from other nations, not your own. Oh, thank goodness. So what will your team be called? The Bleeders? Oh no, that's that's terrible. I'd never go with that. Let's see, what to go with? I'm thinking... I've got it. The Honey Badgers. That's what we'll be called. Yeah. Okay, so your team will be called the Honey Badgers. Yes, they will. Let me just enter the information into the computer. Uh-oh, seems there is a problem. What? Well, it says here that you don't have enough funds in your account to cover all associated fees. Let me see what I can do about this. Just give me a moment. Okay. Good news, it seems you have an original kidney. An organ donation can cover the cost of fees? Oh dear. Non-lab grown organs are in high demand. Jimmy here will sedate you so we can begin the harvesting. Uh, excuse me, say what now? Oh. Oh dear. This, we're, we're really doing this. Oh lord! Um, cut! Cut! Cut the footage! Stop! Stop immediately! Him. Uh, hi there again, Master RBG once more. Uh, just real quick, just mentioning, uh, this channel and myself, of course, personally, do not condone the illicit selling of or harvesting of organs and selling them on the black market for any reason. Because they are illegal, and that is bad. Also, we're probably not really all that keen on the idea of blood sports maybe i don't know we're kind of on the fence on that one depends on if they're legal wherever you are anywho back to the video so after we sell our kidney i mean uh, <clears throat> pay our uh, association dues and fees we are given a brief glimpse at what our facility is like to include sleeping areas for our team, ourselves, the kitchen, and a couple of other areas. All of which will be reasonably important when you're not actually on the ice playing hockey. Because of course you'll need to train up your group, and of course feed them. All of which you're going to have to pay for. Yes, that's right, you're really going to have to manage this team. Which, uh, by the by, 
because I kind of feel this is important just in case anyone gets upset later on. Uh, these are convicts, by the way. They, they are convicts, so if any of them get killed or something later on, don't get too upset because they probably did something awful to be here in the first place. Cool? Cool. Okay, let's move into the first game. Now, of course, we're gonna have to assemble our team first, since right now, we don't have anybody. Look at that, we even have a little sticky note to ourselves. Need goalie and four other men. Which, we do. Uh, in my playthrough, I ended up getting six people together, because I wanted to have an extra beyond my basic four, plus goalie. Because, uh, well... Uh, after the tutorial, I got a pretty clear idea that I might need an extra guy. Never mind, you'll, you'll see what I mean in a moment. Let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, who are we playing? We're playing the, uh, the Tasty Songs from Finland, I think. The Tasty Songs, really? Okay, come on guys, you can take these guys out. Come on, honey badgers, you got this! You've got this! Okay, so one guy spinning around. Okay, there we go. No! No, no, take it back! Well, that's a start. Okay, come on, guys. We're gonna be the first ones to draw blood here. Well,. I mean, okay, we already have been the first one to draw blood here, but I mean drawing blood in the sense of scoring the first goal. Come on! Get the let out, guys! You can do this! Oh. Okay, hold on. Everybody back in. Oh, well, maybe not that guy. Oh, no, he's, he's okay. He's okay! For now. It's just a little Zamboni break. You know, even out the ice. That's a thing in hockey. Okay, ready to go again? Sweet. Okay, guys, go out there and win one for the Giffer. Oh. Really? Really? Ah, okay, so they were the first ones to score. Confound it all, guys! Come on! We can still turn this around! Though we might have to engage in some less than savory tactics. And I, for one, am okay with this. That's right. Just, just a little unnecessary violence, that's all. Hardly even noticeable. Hardly even noticeable. One hour later. Okay, we're almost there. We got this one in the bag, guys. Woo! Yeah! In your faces, Finland! But of course, one doesn't win an entire championship after just one game. No, no, no. You have to have your team trained, primed, and ready for the next one. You gotta win, win, win! Now, of course, each and every one of these activities can train them up in a particular stat. Or, in one specific case, undo the damage in one stat. Uh, when they're injured, you can have them hit the showers and it should help uh, reduce some of the uh, concussive damage done. Uh, everything else pretty much trains something else. Skating stat, strength. Uh, you can always change their diet to bulk them up a bit if they're too light on their feet. You know, that kind of thing. They can also be trained for better brawling practices as well. And of course, should any of them expire for whatever reason, you can always uh, take them out back and dump them in the dumpster. Not even joking about that part. That's, that's actually a real thing. I, I wish I was kidding about that part, but I'm not. And that, ladies and gentlemen, was Super Blood Hockey. Did it live up to its name? Oh, you better believe it did. I'm not 
normally much of a sports game guy, but this was actually pretty fun. I didn't have time to show it earlier, but this game actually has a really good and surprisingly funny tutorial mode. And speaking of things not shown, this game has a pretty dang solid multiplayer. It allows for versus matches, and strangely enough, even has split-screen co-op. Whichever way you want to play it, it can support two or four players, as far as multiplayer is concerned. Unfortunately, there is no online multiplayer, but you never know, that could be a feature in a future sequel. Although, for our sakes, let's hope it too will be pixelated, because, uh... I'm not sure if I have the stomach to see this kind of action realistic 3D. I don't I don't think I can handle it. I, I just I can't. No. Now, if you're a sports fan or want to get some buddies all set up for a couch multiplayer or both, then this is an easy game to recommend. If you're a fan of simulator games, especially management sims, this might make for a good first foray into sports games for you. Or, I suppose, if you're a big fan of pixelated violence and slightly dark humor, then this game might also be up your alley. The game currently runs for about $15, and as of recording this video, it is available on PC, Mac, Linux, and the Nintendo Switch. And in about a week or so, it should also be available on Xbox One and PlayStation 4 as well. So basically, if you have a modern console, then this game should be available on it. By the way, Little fun fact for you, this game was all the work of Lauren Lemke. Hope I'm pronouncing that right. And this is her second game she's developed. So, big round of applause for you. I'm, I'm sorry, I don't have a sound effect for more applause than that. I'll, I'll work on it. Unfortunately, that's all the time we got for this week, guys. If you enjoyed it, hit that thumbs up button. If you'd like to see more of my nonsense in the future, hit that subscribe button. And if you'd like to be the first on your block to be notified the moment I post any new content here, hit that little notification bell. And if you'd like some suggestions for other videos made by yours truly, then how about these? Over here, you can check out my previous review for Trailblazers, a rather unique racing title. And over here, you can check out my abridged Let's Play for Overwatch and uh, see me fail miserably at being a healer. All in good fun. Anywho, that's it for this week, guys. Until next time, this is Master RBG, signing off.